back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you through three crucial aspects of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continuously push you forward towards professional success as you continue to grow in your careers and business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, we discuss getting your emotions under control and how that can lead you to a much more peaceful existence in life. Now, if you don't know much about me, I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. It's stressful for you to describe what's going on in your head to other people when you can't even understand it your damn self, right? And our emotions are an integral part of who we are. None of us are exempt from getting caught up in our feelings about any specific situation. There are some things we are indifferent to. And then there are some things that not only get you emotional, but it causes you a bit of anxiety. So for you to try to describe it to someone or try to hide it from someone, it seems pretty impossible when it hits close to home, right? Because you wouldn't even know where to begin and your ability to control those emotions in the moment can in turn affect how you're perceived by the people that are surrounding you because if you start laughing during a serious meeting or an argument with someone people that you're dealing with will more often than not be resentful towards you on the other hand if you react too angrily at somebody who cut you off in traffic as you were driving you could put your own damn life at risk right so there's a balance that's necessary in order for you to properly understand both you and the the moment that you're placed in with your emotional responses to them. And some of our most frustrating times cause us to be emotionally triggered, partly because we don't have the one thing we all wish that we had more of, control. Hell yeah, you get emotional when you lose your job, when you had a rough day at work and now you find out that somebody you truly care about died. When your spouse or your lover moved on after your breakup, after only two weeks of you guys being separated. When you finding it hard for you to pay your rent and you just wonder to yourself, where the hell am I going to get this money from? But life, this life, it's unpredictable, right? This life isn't about you trying to scheme your way through. Sometimes it's about you being able to understand the predicament that you've been placed in and not ask home so many damn questions about it. And you know what's extremely difficult for us as individuals sometimes? Learning to accept it. Acceptance of what though? Of everything. Of our situation, of our attitude about that situation, and more importantly about our frustration. And you know something? Sometimes you think that you overreacted and you reflect on those situations and you can realize it later. But if you ask me, it's not truly the first reaction that I believe is important when we talk about regulating our emotions a lot of times. It's that second response. It's the response once you have expressed that you're mad or you're angry about the situation you've been placed in. It's you calming yourself down and using two magical words I ask when I coach. Now what? Now what are you going to do to move forward? forward successfully. Now what are you going to do to respond favorably to that bad news you received? Now what are you going to do to bounce back from your issues? Because that's all that truly matters, right? Because whatever has happened that caused your said emotion in the moment, your spouse lying, your project being awful, your business lost money, your argument made you horribly angry, but now what? Because life tells us all the time, yo, you gotta move forward from this, don't you? Yeah, when I say acceptance, it's not that I'm saying you agree with what happened that made you mad. It's it's that you realize that you gotta keep going no matter what the hell happened to you anyway. What causes us the most frustration and negative emotional reactions is sometimes the disappointment though, right? When things don't turn out the way we planned for it to turn out or the way that we had hoped, it taps into that emotion of why me? Of damn, this really couldn't have just worked out for me? And that coincides with what your expectations were in the first place. When you expect too much too soon, when you expect you're going to dominate and you don't, when you expect loyalty and you don't get it. It's disappointing because you had high expectations. And what I'm telling you is when you fail or when other people fail around you, it's not me telling you that you shouldn't be disappointed. It's that you should be more conscious of your thoughts and how you're going to change those said thoughts in the moment. And by changing your thoughts, you may not be able to change the actual situation that you're placed in, but you can at least change the way you believe the situation is affecting you right now. Which on the flip side, allows you to move forward more productively with the situation. 
But the one thing I'd recommend you not do is to avoid those emotions in the moment because then all you'll do is allow those emotions to control you because then you begin internalizing how you should have responded to it the first time. You start getting anxious about how you will respond if and when it happens to you again. You can try distracting yourself all that you want, but until you begin understanding how you tick, what causes you to get so emotional, what you can do to come up with the proper responses to those emotions, emotions in the moment, you will come back to the same predicament over and over and over again. This is the process of you embracing life's most difficult moments. It's embracing your emotional conflicts. It's you embracing the nature of your strength to cope with any situation that you are placed in like the G that you are and finding a productive and powerful way to move past it. Just remember to never allow your emotions to overpower your intelligence. You got this. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. And if no one has told you this already today, I appreciate it. If you found value in the video, make sure that you like and comment down below, share it as well. If you're new to the channel, become official to the squad. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and become an official part of the team that's always gonna push you forward to personal success. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys, Guys, next time, peace.